Hey guys, a few days ago I posted on my Instagram a uh, soup that I made. Many of you were very interested in it. It was a really, really good soup. Um, I will be showing you how I made that. I don't have a name for it, but I guess I'm going to call it peasant soup. Peasant because every time I have made that soup, it has been at a time when I've had no groceries in my house and just some, just, just some essentials basically. And it's very easy to make. Uh, most of the time you're going to have those ingredients sitting in the house uh, with the exception of the meat. But then if you're a peasant you probably have chickens running around. Sorry beacons. Anyway, uh, you will need, You actually you don't need but I'm going to make this in this instant pot. I love using this machine for the pressure cooking purposes. Uh, if you have a slow cooker, that will work too. It just will be slow. Uh, the pressure cooking basically condenses that entire process and you can get like braised type of soft meat uh, by, you know, just using this for 30 minutes less. In New York, I used to uh, cook it on a stove top. The only bad thing about uh, cooking it on the stove top, not bad but annoying, you need to continuously add water because it evaporates, then you add more, you add more. You consistently need to play with the salt and water ratio. This is great because it contains everything. Your Whatever water you put in there, it stays there. That's that. I'm going to get to cooking. I am going to do minimal talking because... Yeah. Alright, so now I'm going to toss everything in there, there's the beef, I might uh, pressure cook my beef twice because it's beef, chicken is a lot faster. I'll put a whole onion in there because I don't like the texture of cooked onions, so this way it will give the taste but it will not. This is garlic that I tasted already, which I wish I had fresh garlic uh, with the cloves, I would much rather put the cloves. So, just put garlic cloves in there, some cilantro, what else do I have? Beans go really well, a little bit of beans. So now you can add other things per your taste. Uh, I'm going to add rice. You can add rice and potatoes. Um, I wouldn't put things that are going to significantly change the taste such as mushrooms. I love mushrooms but this will change the taste significantly and you might not want that. Well, you might want that. but. I personally like it without. Alright, that's my rice. So, I leave the kill for last. After everything is cooked and I turn off the heat, I let the kill just to steam because I like to serve it when it's nice and green, like really nice color instead of if I put it in there now, it will turn like the, the way cooked vegetables turn like kind of dark dark green I don't like that color I will put this on about 10 minutes probably too much but it's okay if it if it becomes uh, super soft and mushy because it, it creates a consistency in the soup that actually is pretty nice so I'm going to pretty much just break the meat Mm. 
So good. So good. Well, <laughs> let me not choke. If you like what you're seeing, I will definitely put out more videos like this or different or faster without me talking. <laughs> Whatever you like, comment. Uh, let me know how you like it. Subscribe, share. Uh, your support means a lot. That that's what will be motivating to put out more videos, which I plan to do at least weekly. But hopefully, I can build up to doing it more than once a week. But for now, definitely weekly. I, you guys can hold me to it. I got this. people say bye to the camera mom is gonna eat